Good morning, everybody. Well, yeah, I'm back outside, out back, enjoying the birds singing, enjoying the coolness and the dampness of the early morning. And you might even see, shining through the tree back there, some glimmers of sunshine. Uh, you know, when I woke up this morning, it was foggy, misty, but I knew one thing I could count on, and that was the, the weather forecast that said, don't worry, folks, all this morning fog and haze, it's going to burn off. It's going to lift up, and it's going to be a beautiful day. And that's what I'm counting on. And I wonder how many of you are counting on that happening this time next week, where it's a long weekend, if there is such a thing anymore, because I think it's been a long couple of months where we've been at home. But it's a long weekend, a weekend where a lot of people camp out for the first time. Oh, Memorial Day weekend. And I think... We live in a, a foggy state, not knowing exactly what we're able to do, where we're able to go, and a lot of it depends on the state you're in, depends on the county you live in. Uh, we just don't know, we don't have all the answers. And that's a lot like life itself, we just don't have the answers. And we are a people that wanna be in control of our lives. And uh, when we don't have the answers, what happens? Frustration, nervousness, anxiety builds up. And that is precisely where we are at right now. We don't have all the answers and we may not have them for quite a while, especially when it comes to the COVID-19 virus that's going around. Um, and I know, boy, oh boy, can you please stop talking about that? We've heard enough about it by now. We've seen it on the news. It's there in our face every day. Well, it's because it's a, a part of our lives every day right now, too. We can't avoid it. We need to confront it. We need to confront it with honesty and integrity and realize that it is still a very serious threat to our countries to our own personal lives. And um, yeah, it's a bit like the fog that's around us. And you kind of see the mist in the background there. It's it's there. Um, oh, we don't like it. We're hoping that it's gonna lift and it's gonna burn off. We just don't know when. And yes, just like you, I'm frustrated too. But I do know one thing. In the midst of my frustration, there's somebody who's walking right with me in that frustration because it's someone who feels that same frustration, someone who has been there. Think about the life of Jesus. We often think, well, Jesus, you know, son of God, he can overcome anything. He can perform all those miracles. Oh, he knew what was coming and he knew he was going to be raised from the dead. But did he? I mean, if he was so sure of what was coming and how it was going to turn out, why did he cry in anguish from the cross? My God, why have you abandoned me? Why have you left me? Why did he go to the Garden of Gethsemane and cry tears of anguish? Why did he sweat drops of blood? Oh, you know, Jesus was human. He felt all those things that we felt. And that is what's such good news about our gospel lesson when he says, I'm leaving, but I won't leave you alone. I won't abandon you. I won't leave you as orphans. I am sending the comforter. And it's a continuation of what we heard last week, that God's spirit will be there to give us hope, comfort, and strength to face whatever is coming. It's, it's not going away too soon, people. It, it just isn't. And we're going to have to deal with it. And we will deal with it with confidence, with hope, with strength. And it's hope that's just not pie in the sky, by and by. Uh, no, it's a hope that is there 
in the midst of the bad, awful, horrible, yucky things that happen in our lives. It's a hope that doesn't abandon us. It's a hope that helps us pull through. It's a hope that helps us to see that the love of God will strengthen you and me no matter what. I sure hope it warms up this weekend just a little bit. I'm, I still didn't get my campfire in that I wanted to do last night, although it did at the last minute kind of clear up and got a little sunny, but it was late by then. I didn't want to go out. I could have, but yeah, lazy me. Got to stay inside now. Maybe today, maybe later today, but for now, I'll just rest in the hope and in the expectation that good sunny weather is on its way today. Good sunny weather is on its way for the rest of this summer and hopefully for next weekend for you. If you're going out, camping out, it'll be a nice time and, and you'll be able to get out in this paradise of sorts that surrounds me right now. Hopefully that will surround you as well. And you will also feel that exuberation that, that I, is that a word? Exuberation? Yeah. And uh, you, you'll anticipate it. I know you're already, you want to get out there right now, don't you? Then go out there. Take a walk. Talk to God. Know that he loves you. Know that his love is a part of our lives each and every moment, no matter what we are going through. Jesus loves you, so do I. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your week. Enjoy your next weekend. God's blessings be with you.